Christmas is over and I officially have the January blues. The Christmas tree is down, the Christmas lights are gone, and it's time for a fresh start. So we called in Sydney Hellier Gray to give us some inspiration on how to have a fresh start in our home. Okay, Sydney, what is your number one tip on how to have a fresh start in our home? Well, what I really love is to clear the slate and it really gets your um, mind fresh and you just get past the old and you want to be inspired with something new. And I always think it's great to use what we have. Instead of running to the store, just try and use what yes. you have. Rotate artwork, do what you can. And it's so inspirational with what you can find in your home. Let's talk colors. How do you suggest a color palette? Well, you know, sometimes it just comes to be. They are saying that uh, classic blue is the color of the year, but I see we've got all year to use that deeper color. And it's so nice to have a fresh start after the deep Christmas colors. So I moved this painting from elsewhere in the home and um, I just love the fresh green because to me that's growth in spring. And these cushions, they were nearby. So we just mixed them, reused them and it's very spring-like, I get that. But you know what? I say, what's wrong with pushing the envelope? What are your suggestions on how we can freshen up the home, bringing the outside in? Well, I love to go for walks in local trails, and I picked these up recently. They will actually last a long time. It's Salal, and you can dry it as well, but I always keep it in water. Um, I did buy this locally. Um, it is eucalyptus, and it will last a very long time. Um, and it has such a great, refreshing scent and I couldn't resist roses. And with the color palette in this room, I just thought it made the col other colors pop. Yeah. What are some ways that people can get some inspiration in their home? Well, what I find is in January, we have slightly more time. So I love to pull out all the inspirational books, you know, Letting Go, Abundance, Oprah Winfrey. Oh. And, um, you know, you have the time to sit around and, you know, really rejuvenate your soul. And at the same time, I love a stack of cookbooks because when do we ever sit down and actually read a cookbook? And I, you know, it's just so inspirational. So now that we've got our fresh new space that is Christmas free, what is your last tip? Well, Charlotte, I think it's really important just to take time, reduce our stress, and now's the time we have more of it. And we've got cozy throws, make a pot of tea, light the candles, even though it's daytime, they have a lovely ocean scent. And you know, we've got to honor our soul. Yeah. Sydney, you have gotten me out of my January blues. Thank you so much for all of your ideas. Where can we find you online? Well, thank you, Charlotte, for a deeper dive into interior design, chginteriors.com. Amazing. And to have all the details that we've discussed today, just go to karenalgersmamedia.com.